wanna show you Wanna let you loose inside my brain to see if you'd run or stay show you wanna let you lose inside my brain good evening I'm Zaganat welcome to my studio now then Tonight is going to be a little bit of a short stream, I'm afraid, because I have other things I have got to do at half past. Uh, but until then, we will do some pyrography. So we have an hour, an hour on the stream, and we'll get on with it. So, power down. Clean the end of that. in some eyebrows Before we put any marks over the top of it, which will then permanently encapsulate it, and they don't want them visible, so we'll just remove them. I'll remove that one like that. Make sure we get rid of the hairs as well.
Okay, that's enough of an outline to work with. So we again erase that particular line. I don't like having too many marker lines on because um, often they're not always useful they can get sort of embedded in the pyrography and what then happens is they stand out it's like putting um, varnish over the top of them and so they sort of are forever visible um, it does change the surface texture, so if you then apply pyrography over the top, sometimes it can look a little odd, but usually there's not much in the way of, of um, pyrography over the lines, in the area of the lines that I've drawn, uh, just from the perspective of the guidelines. So either they're on the outside, of something here like the eyebrows or they are actually covered over like the wood that the hair has done here Okay, so they want to be black or blackish, so no painter, I'm not interested in a Black Friday saving. Can't afford it, thank you. Reminds me, I must turn off that pop-up if I can. Well, I still haven't cured the PC crashing either. Um, and it's now crashing with a different problem. But probably it's still a driver related problem. And given that I've. Uh, the changes that I've made is to change a driver then it seems likely that the problem is with the driver that I've just changed. So I will be doing some work on that tomorrow as well. Now yeah, then, it's fairly soft. So doing this as a soft, so I'm not using the sharp edge here. I'm trying to use the tip, but just but softly without actually digging in or making any sort of marks. Purposely avoiding using the sharp edge. In this particular case, I'm going directly over the top of my uh, marking. I don't mind that because it just makes it slightly darker, which is perfectly okay now then.
Now there are eyelashes there, but I may not do anything about them. But on the other hand, I might. Don't know yet. Okay, at this point let's switch pens and run that cooler because this pen gets hotter anyway. So what I'm going to do now is that pen is still too hot but that's not bad there. Again, tell us this, this wood is. It's been quite. Um, been quite dark. No, I'm not. I was going to put, try and put my lashes in, but I'm not going to. That perhaps would be a mistake at this point, so we're not going to do it. Switch pens again. Cup of tea.
Tea's nice. I haven't had a drink all day since breakfast. That's going to be way too cold. Turn it up there. Oh, that still is. Oh, help. Switch the light pen, it'll work better. Now, what I was looking for there is precisely what's happened. Got a sharp edge, but it's then sort of come away from it, is the best way I can describe it. Turn this down now. Um, the heat sort of led downwards, which is what I wanted to happen. Hello Wolfie. Carver as in champagne. I remember your beer, the way it is crashing. Memory is so hard. Oh, are you meaning something different altogether? <laughs> okay. Oh, does it? Okay. Um, yeah, everything's uh, reasonably okay. Thank you very much, uh, Wolfie. Hope it is for you. 
The PC is still crashing. I uh, haven't solved that yet. Uh, good evening, Laser. I've come for these past couple of days or so. You two have arrived together. <laughs> Just to let you know, it's a, it's going to be a short stream tonight. Um, I have to go out and pick somebody up from the theatre. Uh, so if I'll be finishing about half past. I never check Twitter myself. Yeah, well, not a bad guess, uh, Wolfie, not a bad guess. I uh, was a little, well, a little late tonight. Just uh, because of life. So it was about half past seven when I started. <laughs> oh, it's um, it's always fun in, in whatever game it is where you're almost dead. You you have you know, the very last hit point, whatever it is, quantity, whatever it's as, and and you survive with just that little infinitesimal bit left. No matter what game it is, it's always sort of quite amusing, is that, isn't it? Uh, let's turn this down a bit. <laughs> yeah, as I say, that sort of thing is, is always fun, isn't it, when that happens. Um, right. I've kind of like done that same sort of thing, you know, finished, finished with that one, one hit point after, often after a really intense battle of some kind, and uh, you kind of wonder how on earth, or you know, just so lucky at that point. Mm. 
Males are always a bit awkward to do. Kind of getting the lips right is um, an interesting challenge often. Not bad. <laughs> it's it's always getting the lips, uh, and pavography is an awkward one as well because colour or not, you know, shading. Um, but getting often the top lip is really really thin, uh, um, partly because when a lot of people smile, they they curl it under, which uh, or at least stretch it which I'm trying to do now, but it sort of always gets really thin and um, it almost looks unnatural. Um, and then doing teeth. With a pencil it's not as bad uh, doing, doing teeth, but because uh, you can be really, really light. Um, I'm now wondering just how to do this. So I'm probably going to cheat. I've got to put some teeth in, otherwise it looks odd. But it's really difficult to get because usually there's no gaps or anything in teeth and you get just a, a very sort of um, just slightly pale line. I don't want these to be perfect white. because otherwise they'll be too white. Oh dear. Um, yeah, it can. I think I think the two bits that or the the bit that most breaks an image is the eyes. If you get the eyes wrong, or don't get the right, you might not get them wrong, but not get the right character in them, then you might as well forget it because if if they're not right. And especially, um, this is all you know. This being of somebody famous, so if you haven't quite got the eyes right, and I'm a little bit undecided, um, then it was the rest of the image out. It never is going to look like something. Everybody focuses in on the eyes. It's kind of a natural thing. And uh, if you don't get, you know, I keep sort of repeating what I'm saying, but if you don't get those right, then 
um, they it just they just puts everybody off the image. And I tell you what will probably make these look better is if I actually darken down the irises. I did not mean to colour the highlight, but I have. Oh well. I'm not sure that the shape of this is right eye. The left one, as you're looking at, the one I'm working on now, is quite right but I'm going with it as it is for now. Soften that lower lip off a little. Can't really offer any advice for uh, for drawing mouths. I'm only partially successful at it myself. Um, but quite often it is forget what you think you know about it um, and actually draw, if you're drawing from a photograph or an image or a real life draw what you see always go with what you see over what you think it should be you know like the shapes and things go with what you see uh, and it's um, more likely to be successful you know when I was started this this looked really too thin but now that I've sort of filled it in a bit more, it looks about right. And you've got to be just a little bit careful of um, over egging it by accident. Now you're pushing too hard internet firewall. Uh, Borrowed words regard a YouTube. <laughs> YouTube is a borrowed word, yeah. Um, I once learnt some some Danish. Well, I, I mean, I learnt French and English at school, of which I can not remember any of it. French and English? 
Well, I did learn English. French? Did I say French and German? I think so. If I didn't, I meant to say French and German. French for a few years, German, I think, for one. Um, but uh, then later on, I learnt some uh, some Danish. I used to know a Danish family, uh, or oh, sort of a Danish family. They spoke Danish anyway, um, and I um, started learning a little bit of Danish uh, with them, or from uh, well, with them, yes. And at one point, I did go to Danish class uh, for about a term. But then work commitments stopped me going and other commitments, so I never, I didn't actually progress very far. But what I did, uh, what I did learn was fascinating because I'm a Yorkshireman and Yorkshire contains a lot of words of the Yorkshire dialect. Um, Almost, I won't say a Yorkshire language, but almost a Yorkshire language um, contains a lot of words which are really similar to Danish. You love French to English, it's fun. <laughs> the, the bit I find uh, interesting about languages, well apart from the fact as I just mentioned, there's a lot of words, I'll come back to them in a second, is when you're learning a language, the bit that I find fascinating is the point at which you stop translating and don't realise that you've stopped translating. So all of a sudden you th you realise that you're not you're no longer flipping the words in your head. You you're actually just understanding it as it's spoken, and that's an amazing thing. Your brain just I don't know, flips somehow, and um, at that point it's um, it's quite amazing. Uh, I've had that experience with French when I was learning it at school. And actually, I've had that experience when I learnt Morse code as well, um, because uh, in the UK uh, there there is or was uh, to uh, as an amateur radio person, there's two types of licenses: what are called an A class and a B class. The B class uh, had restrictions on it as to frequencies and powers and. Uh, ways of transmitting what we call modes and the A class didn't have those restrictions but to uh, to get an A class license you had to pass Morse code you had to learn to be able to receive and transmit Morse code and again when I was uh, learning that it got to a point where you hear dits and that dits and Dits and dars. It's how you you learn Morse code. Don't learn them as dits and uh, don't learn them as dots and dashes. You you learn them as dits and dars because that's how it sounds, and it's how it sounds that matters because that's what you're going to listen to. You're not going to look at the dashes and dots. Um, but there was a point at which I stopped going. Uh, you know, di da di. That's what's that? That's I actually can't remember what it is. It's an R, I think. Um, and when oh yeah, and I just started understanding it, and it's it's quite a yeah. Okay, Liza, sorry. Sorry about languages. Yeah, well, or the way in which you sort of your brain stops translating languages and starts understanding it. It is something I just find uh, really, really fascinating. Sorry, Layers, that you're having problems. I did cut my bit rate down a little bit, but I haven't cut it down too much. I'll, uh, I might try uh, reducing it a little bit more for you.
e as peças. He doesn't like me. Yes, he does. He wouldn't be here watching if he didn't. <laughs> Laser has been around for an awfully long time. Uh. Oh, oh, you. <laughs> I see what you're getting at there, uh, uh, Wolfie. If I, if, if, hmm. I wouldn't have dropped it a little bit if it wasn't for the wanting to be able to watch now, would I? Which I, uh, I'll try dropping it again a little bit more. Um. Okay. Main features are in, I think. It it does kind of like look like the person, which is good. <laughs> it's meant to. Um, although I suspect you've got to know who it's meant to look like to be able to see it, but. Uh, and of course at the moment it's just a really flat face which looks a bit odd um, so we're not going to put some colouring in there uh, yeah. well we've got oh, I, on my way back home uh, just before the stream we were having snow uh, so rain and snow Uh, doesn't usually affect us too much, doesn't uh, the rain? I'm, I'm lucky. I'm quite close to uh, to the connection point at which the uh, where the broadband is injected here. Uh, so I'm getting a fairly decent powered signal, uh, and I get uh, something about 50 megabits, which isn't bad, but. Uh, I am quite lucky in that respect. Now then. They come from about there. Up that way. Around there. Around there. Uh, it's a lot lighter on this side here. Down to about there. Bit dark in the temples around there, and up there a little bit like that. Now, believe it or not, I'm actually putting colour down on the wood. I suspect you can't see it, but I'm actually doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's one reason, layers are though, why I why I broadcast, uh, I'm not, well, I'm, I'm broadcasting a little bit high, but um, I broadcast 720, 1080 by 720, uh, to keep, A, to keep the bit rate down, but uh, but to, um, to you know, make it compatible with, with tablets and things like that, and, and phones, so I don't uh, have fantastic uh, bit rates. I, the problem I've got, oh, it's... Actually, it might not be so bad. I could probably drop it to something like about two megabits for pyrography. Um, it, things like the chainmail don't work so well if I drop the bit rate too far because of the the sparkles you get off of it. It it busts the encoder, and um, they it needs you know, more bandwidth to to handle those. I'll try it. Because of course the um, the you know, if you're having problems, you know somebody with anybody else with a with a slightly poor internet will have a problem. It stops them watching me, even if they want it to. <laughs> um. It's a problem with uh, as you know, normal broadcasters, you don't get transcode, um, so it's it's a bit difficult to. Uh, to do the the high quality stuff. Uh, 
Mind you, my PC struggles with the high quality stuff. I can't watch a 1080p 60, 60 FPS stream. My video card just won't keep up. It almost keeps up, but not quite. I always, and they never, there's never an offer from the Transcodes at 1080p 30 FPS. So I have to go down to 72060 um, to be able to watch a lot of these um, streams. So. Which gets a little bit irritating. If they only broadcast in 30 FPS rather than 60, I'd be able to watch it at full resolution. Now, I'm using this pen too lightly. Let's up the heat a little bit. Trying to get the right colour here. That's too much. Okay. Fair enough, Wolfie. Now, knowing a little bit about anatomy can make doing these sorts of things easier, provided you are still follow the rules of doing what you see, not what you know. Um, because, of course, the, what I'm doing here is shadow. And the shadow, of course, will follow to some extent the contours of the face, especially around the edges of the shadow. So sort of knowing where the bo you know, the shape of the bones in the head can help a little bit for you to get things in the right place. Now I've got to make this dark enough uh, to be darker than the lighty lighter bits, but not too dark. And this is where it takes quite a bit of practice. I was going to say skill, but practice really um, to do this and keep a consistent colour. Because the heart, the easy, it's easy to put a darker colour on, but it's not easy to keep, to have a smooth darker colour on. I got a little bit too dark just there, but we will probably end up sorting that out. Now, I don't want to turn that around because I lose perspective when I do that. Sometimes turning the, the image upside down, I lose where things are, relationship of things. Um, so they say, there's that, so they say, I haven't. Um, it, it certainly helps when you're drawing from imagination. When you're drawing from real life, it, I would say assists, but uh, you know, everybody's different, you know, for me. Um, because it's, 
again, it becomes so easy to go, oh, you know, there's, there's a dimple in your head here, um, you know, the temples, therefore it means, and, and you put that in, and then you realise that there's a dirty great big spotlight and you can't see it, and it looks wrong that you've put it in because you've not done what you're looking at. Um, in theory, you should be able to, somebody who can draw, <laughs> shall we say, should be able to draw what they see um, but when, when if they're drawing from like a, a reference if they're doing it purely from memory or, or imagination then yes I agree you know the anatomy helps enormously to know where where the elbow should be and where the nose should be in the face and you know, all these sorts of markers but I don't study I don't study uh, anatomy. I kind of um, would I'd rather draw and get it wrong and try again <laughs> is probably uh, the way I'd describe it. That's sort of my preferred way of doing things if uh, rather I, I have to study for a purpose. And so often I, I find it better just to try it uh, and if I get it wrong fine that's what I expected to happen uh, and I can just try again. Now I'm looking at this and I've got slightly darker shadowing just by the hair. I've actually made him look a lot younger than he actually is or was. Some tooling marks there I don't like. So I better get tone right here because I've got to colour the face in. I have to do that, otherwise it's just too bright at the moment. But Usually people don't often complain too much about being made to look slightly younger. Yes, yeah, a light the light source on this is virtually straight on the face. One of the hardest ways to um, Uh, to draw is um, 
that full face lit. Because there's next to no shadows. And the shadows are what help define the face. And then what we have got under there is hard shadow, so... How far does that go? It goes all the way down actually. Now I should make this shadow almost as dark as this uh, shirt, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat slightly. I can always darken it afterwards if I don't think it looks right, but I'm going to leave it slightly lighter. Yeah, it looks okay. Okay, right. Fortunately, I uh, will have to say that's the end of the stream, though. Um, it's early, early finished tonight. Um, I've got to go pick somebody up. I'm collecting them at nine o'clock, so I've got to be out of here now uh, in order to do it. But I'm quite pleased with that as to what uh, we've kind of done the eyes, the eyebrows, the mouth uh, started to bring in the shadowing on the face and just underneath here on the chin um, head's still too white at the moment it's still got that real sort of uh, startled sort of uh, face white so all the shading's got to go in before in fact the whole face has got to be coloured um, but then you know the subtle sides of the face which had the shadows and then the neck as well um, thank you everybody that's watching um, especially Laser, are you there and uh, Wolfie if he's back and um, hopefully I'm expecting to be streaming tomorrow night start between 7pm and 8pm UK time um, hopefully tomorrow should be able to go on for a couple of hours and uh, with that, I will say thank you again for watching. Hope I'll see you on the next stream and bye for now.